Hi folks, it's Evo here from Clenemus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Clenemus Fishing Tips. I'm all excited because it's our first trip to the salt water and I'm out here with Phil. We've got Vincenzo and Dougie. We took him out of retirement. He's with us today and we've cracked open the new flexi jigs folks. Hey eh, Flea? Yeah, all excited to use those. Well, we've got uh, my rig today folks. I've got uh, the flexi jig here set up with just a small worm. And if you've never seen these flexi jigs, they're new from Thunderous Lure Company. I'm really excited about it. You know how much I love to jig. And the whole advantage with these is that they flex and then they spring back up. And what it means is as soon as you get a little bit of that fish, the hook flexes, you get a direct hook set. It's phenomenal, works every time. And I've got a T-turn rigged up here with, uh, with one of Big John's Tremblers. This happens to be his S series. It's got a little spinner on there as an extra attractor, and that'll work great on that T turn. And all I'm going to do, Phil's already in already, toss my line out there. And when it comes to jigging, the whole key is to stay on the bottom. So we're fishing in about 25 feet of water here right now. So I watch my line, and I can tell when I'm on bottom. I'm on bottom right now. And then, quite simply, just give a jig, let it go back down. You can tell when you're on bottom again. Give a jig, let it go back down. But it's so important to, to jig right off that bottom. Otherwise, you're fishing suspended. Not that fish aren't suspended, but most fish are on the bottom. And, and today, down here, we're fishing Buzzards Bay. There's, uh, there's sea bass, there's fluke, there's tutog. There's, there's all kinds of fish down here. So you never know what you're going to get on a jig. And uh, we're going to jig today a little bit. and. Have some fun, so stay tuned, folks. That <laughs> didn't take long, eh, Phil? Not too long at all, Evil. <laughs> you got a flex one in the boat, are you? Oh, it's a fluke. Oh, it's, it's a, a little fluke. fluke. Uh, grab the net. Yep. We should have had that net ready. Felt like a scuff. Okay, 16 inch fluke's the limit. I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a good net, Josh. <laughs> you want oh, yeah. me to net? Don't net wake up it. now, is you, it? You want me to net him? Oh. <laughs> there we go. oh, I'm terrible with my left hand. Flat as a flounder. <laughs> Oh, I don't think he's 16, but you can measure him. Short. We'll measure How's him. that for the first fish of the day? That was awesome. Okay, we actually have wow, 15.875. Well, Slightly short. See, 15.875. Ah. He's, he's actually short. just about 16, but just a bit, just I'm gonna say a hair short, Phil. Too close for comfort, evil. Nope. Back in he goes. Goodbye, Fluke. Oh, there we go, Phil. Nice. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, eh, Dougie? Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just bouncing that flexi jig off the bottom. Got a nice hit. I'm running a 20 pound braided line. I love to jig with braided line because you can feel everything. There we go. And I always run a fluorocarbon leader with the with my braid, always, always, always. Okay, just a little sea bass there, Phil. It's a good one. Nice. Uh, he might be a keeper. Look at that hook set. That's what I mean about awesome. that flexi jig. <laughs> That's great. Right up the snout. Perfect hook set all the time. They have a hard time shaking the hook too because this hook flexes. Once it's in there, they can't shake it either. So you catch more fish, you land more fish. I love it. I think he's going to measure, but we'll uh, do a double check. Oh yeah, he's 15 and change, so nice little start there. That's why it's so important to be jigging on the bottom. There's a good hook set right there, folks. That was a nice bite. He just hammered that jig. And uh, we got a little bit of wind happening today. And you can tell when you're on bottom, like I say, when your jig hits the bottom, you'll see a little limp in your line and then you'll know you're on bottom and it's time to jig it up again. Oh, this feels like a decent fish. And uh, that's the difference. Sometimes you get two guys in the boat, one guy's catching all the fish. It's all about being in that strike zone. This fish feels pretty good, Phil. You got on there, Evil. I don't know. <laughs> it's been down a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, you wanna, you wanna grab the net or you want oh, me to land there? Okay. Oh, oh, look at this. I got two oh at a time. Double I header. got a double header fish here. Oh, oh there's one. <laughs> oh. You missed up there. A little scuff. I'll just lift them in. Yeah, They're okay. both small fish. Yeah, yeah. 
Look at this. <laughs> there we go, folks. That's why I like running the teaser rig right there. Actually, this one's snagged up on the side. There we go. Okay. There's a Big John trembler. I had him tie these tremblers for me, special for the trip. It's the one thing about Big John. Good friend of mine. He ties up custom stuff. That worked like a charm. He looks a little small, but we'll measure him up. And you know, they have size limits for a reason. I know it's the law, but even if it wasn't, you should always respect the size limits. Very important. He's just about 15, so he's a keeper. Give you a good bite? Feels pretty good, yeah. Yeah? But I have my line way out there, so. Wow. I'm not sure what I've got. We shall see pretty soon, hopefully. You want the net? Yeah. Okay. This is my drag a bit. There you go, Phil. Okay, thanks. Uh, just a small sea bass. Oh, not even net worthy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to swing them in, Phil. That's it. <laughs> well, look at the colors on this guy. Yeah, they got that nice blue color to them. Yeah. The yeah, head. beautiful. Yeah, no. Set. That's what I mean about those flexi jigs. Wow. I love them. I think we're just going to have one of those days today, Phil. It's looking that way, yeah. That was a good bite. I felt absolutely everything with that with that braided line. I get a good hook set. This looks like a scuff. A flexi jig scuff. There we go. That's a nice scuff, eh? Yeah. Look at that. Decent fish. I don't know where this wind all of a sudden came up. It came up out of the blue. They said it was going to get windy, but not till afternoon. But I'm in another nice fish. We're going to have an outstanding day, that's for sure. You can see what I'm jigging with. I've got, I, I love to jig with a six foot or, or six and a half foot or seven foot rod. Today I'm using a seven foot, one piece rod, medium action. And I got myself a trembling sea robin. <laughs> <laughs> on the trembler look at that Phil oh, now wow. with these sea robin the way to get them off underneath is the easiest way to hold them from underneath they're all full of spines up top here but underneath you can get underneath these fins and you could just kind of hold them right underneath the two the two flaps there and get your hook out Maybe get your hook out. There we go. Okay, Mr. C. Robin, we're gonna let you fly away. Well, folks, this wind has picked up. I think we're still gonna fish, but it makes it a little difficult to film. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. If you can get your hands on some flexi jigs, I highly recommend them. They work fantastic. If you can't find them anywhere, we'll put a, a link in the description for you below. But as always, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing.